Hi guys, bonjour mes amis, I'm Booger, welcome aboard. Have you ever been to a Ruby Tuesdays? I haven't been in a long time. We've, we've been a couple of times, but it's been a while. Their salad bar is amazing there. But anyways, I saw a copycat recipe of their fresco um, sandwich. We're gonna try that. Copycat, Ruby Tuesdays. You guys ready? Let's go. Chin chin. You okay, guys, so <clears throat> if you look at the notes on the link, they have links to everything, so I don't have to type anything. I just go to the page and click on that stuff. They uh, have suggestion of marinade the chicken first, if you have time, preacher style, they call it. So I went to that link and printed that out. So I'm gonna do a, that marinade that's called for it. You can just salt and pepper it and then air fry it, but I'm gonna marinate it, why not? I have all that stuff. So it says to pound um, chicken breast into a third of an inch, one and, what is it? Half an inch. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a tip on that. I'm not gonna show you how to pound that chicken, but anyways. Two breasts. And up first, let me spray some oil, olive oil, on top of this. I'm gonna tell you why. It's a little tip. Sometimes when you pound chicken into a, a gallon bag, it kind of breaks apart. So to prevent that, let me push you over here. Push this over, because we got oil on that side. A little bit of olive oil. Okay, so that's gonna help the chicken from, you know, breaking apart. You want a whole piece, right? Okay, so you're gonna use the handy dandy mallet tenderizer, Walmart. Okay, use that flat part. Pound it out, and I'm gonna flatten that out, and I'm gonna um, go from there. We're gonna do the marinade. I'll be back. Okay, so I have everything but one thing, vegetable oil, which I don't buy vegetable oil anymore. So that's okay. I'm using olive oil. That's our oil du jour that we use around here. Let me put my glasses on so I can't see nothing. <sighs> All right, this is this marinade is very intense. I couldn't believe the amount of what they ask for, but hey, I'm not gonna argue. We're gonna try it out. So it's three quarter cups of soy sauce. And this is a quarter cup of Worcestershire, that stuff, yeah quarter cup of that and here's half a cup of olive oil I know it's just I switched to uh, no vegetable oil a long time ago and uh, this is let's see black pepper one tablespoon Ooh, girl. that's a lot of pepper I'm not gonna argue with it and check this out half a cup of red wine vinegar what the what I know I was like what all right, my lemon juice is freshly squeezed. Two lemons, a third of a cup of that. Fresh squeezed. And <clears throat> the garlic, it says, ow, I got a little cut. That lemon juice cut me. Half a teaspoon of garlic, but I did two cloves, so it's about a two, te two teaspoons of that. Okay, like a tablespoon. Because we love garlic. Why not? All right, mix this up. Excuse me, out the way. Okay, so let me combine this so the oil and the juices are mixed together. I'll be right back. All right, so here's the chicken. Hopefully that all recorded. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Okay, so here's the chicken. See how beautifully it didn't fall apart. Flipped it over, did it again. See that? Beautiful, eh? And we're just gonna put that marinade right in yonder. Yes, that's a word. <laughs> So if you bought a bottle of marinade, that's about the amount that you would get with this, as you can see. So that's cool. All right, so it says to marinate for eight hours. I'm probably gonna do four, I don't know. I gotta cook this today, so it's gonna be about four or five hours. Okay, put that in the fridge, and I'll be right back. All right, see you in a couple hours. All right, are we ready to do this? Yes. This marinade is quite lovely. So um, as you can see, I'm gonna use the bad boy, the big boy, the Mac Daddy. Excuse me. <laughs> the DeLonghi uh, multi fry because I'm feeling lazy and I'm going to use the paddle for the sauce. Okay, it's got a removable paddle and all that good stuff. So let's spray this pan with a little bit of oil. I'm going to put the paddle in after I cook the chicken. If you don't have a paddle, don't worry about it. You just have to stir it once in a while. All right, look at this beautifulness. Flipped it over a couple times. It was four hours for me. They say eight hours, but. I got time, so, ooh, that 
smells good. All right, here we go. This is gonna fit in there just quite nice. Look at that. That's a beautiful thing. I could have probably did another two pieces of chicken with all this marinade. It's a shame to go to waste, but you know what I mean? All right. Always have a towel just in case. And then go straight to the washer. All right, you guys ready? So when you cook chicken, you want the internal temperature to be 165 degrees. So if you're new to the air fryer game, you need yourself a meat thermometer. Very important. Okay, so usually chicken's about 20 minutes or so, chicken breast, but these are thinned out, so it's gonna be less time, all right? Let's put everything on the highest setting. If you wanna know what that number four means, it's listed down below. It's got a bun burr, so I don't have to flip the chicken over. Okay, so just remember halfway the cook, flip your chicken over. All right, let's go. I'll be back. All right, you guys, we are 10 minutes in, and I'm gonna check it. Ooh. Touch the bottom of the pan. Look at that. We're in 145. So 150. So I'm taking another five minutes and it should be done. 15 minutes total. Again, you need one of these. All right. 15 minutes. Let's check it out. Yeah. So yeah. Shoo yeah. Even if you went over 165, I promise you that chicken is going to be moist. So they want you to take it out and... Uh, cover it let me turn this off I gotta put that paddle in there oh, I tell you, it smells so good I could see marinating some wings with this and I'm gonna leave the juices and everything in there because yay so if you don't have a, a paddle per se just stir it up a couple times all right Put your glasses on, burr, and let's get this show on the road. Take this, and you put it at light. Make a mess. All right, so it says, um, melt the butter. Let's melt that butter. I'm leaving the settings as is, the bottom's on. Let's melt that butter. It's gonna take probably a minute. Like I said, one minute, that's all I took. The pan was already hot, so it's all melted. All right, so we got lemon juice here. That is, uh, where's it say? Two tablespoons, which was a whole, uh, large lemon squeezed right there okay and then we're gonna put some wine white wine a quarter cup uh, yeah <laughs> salt and pepper uh, half a teaspoon of each okay and parmesan which is uh let's see it says two ounces which was a quarter cup okay, i don't know why it says two ounces but whatever you know it is what it is Okay, so it says to put that in there. Whisk and flour into sauce. Whisk and flour. Hmm. The flour is one and a half teaspoons. Okay, that's gonna be your thickening agent. I'm just gonna lightly mix it up a little bit there. That paddle's gonna take care of that. All right, so it says to do that for, what did it say? I'm saying, uh, stirring constantly to thicken slightly. All right, let's leave everything as is, highest setting. I'm gonna let you know how long we do that. It's not gonna take very long, a couple minutes maybe, but we'll see. All right, Tom just got home, so you're gonna hear a lot of noises, but I did that for about four minutes, and I like the way that looks. Look at that, thickened up nice. Nice buttery. I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, so let me shut this off, and we're gonna plate this in front of you. I made some rice. It's a like a Latin kind of rice. If you want to know the recipe of that, it's got cilantro because I have a lot of cilantro out there. Hi, Tommy. I'm filming. Oh, hi. Say hi there, buddy. Hi, so, I tell you to do this. Put a piece of chicken on top like this. A tomato, which all I had was uh, raw rice. So, jeez, babe. <laughs> Like that. Some of this beautiful sauce. Oh my gosh. On top. Isn't that beautiful? Enough sauce for two pieces of chicken? Yes, ma'am. All right. And then I made a balsamic glaze. You could buy it already made, but it's pretty simple. It's balsamic vinegar and brown sugar. 
So just follow that and it just drizzle it on top. Like that. Holy cow. All right. Tom's going to get ready to taste it for you. I'm going to take some pictures and we'll be back. All right, Tommy. He's going to try it out for you guys. Now, they don't tell you what kind of rice. It looked like yellow rice to me. But I have cilantro, so I looked up this recipe and I like it. So he's going to try the chicken first, though. Ooh. Seems to cut easy. Mm-hmm. Don't try the rice yet. Okay. Okay. He's he's like, what's that smell? This balsamic vinegar wakes you right up. Terrible. It's worthless. <laughs> I wouldn't make it again. <laughs> no, it's good. Very good. It's very good. Mm-hmm. It looks moist. Let's try a piece with balsamic. some mater. And a balsamic. Yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do when you live out in the country and you're far from the store. You look up uh, substitutes or how to make it homemade because we can't go to the store in about 20 minutes. Mm. What say you? Keeps putting food in there. Mm. It's awful. Taste the right. Where are you going? Where are you going? Yeah. Taste, taste the rice so they know. Oh. Usually you want the rice first. Mm. All together. Really. It all goes together? Really well. Okay, well, see, they're not seeing. They're really seeing well. Nothing. But did you want some of this? <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, there you go. Just try anything huh? in the air fryer. I'm telling you, it does sauces, gravies. Is this my plate amazing. or yours? That's your plate, baby. All right, guys. Leave me some thumbs up. It really helps. Um, Tom, say goodbye to everybody. Hold on, I got stuff in my mouth. Bye, everyone. All right, guys. Thanks for shopping. Bye, bye. Mm -hmm.